Really, rather hard to tell where I should be here. Um, no, over there. There we are. Apologies. Good day. My name is Ronald. Let's, uh, let's start that again, shall we? Yes, uh, thank you. Uh, oh, wait. I can't do that. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes, I can't do that because of the opening. All right, let us, let us just go on and move forward with this thing. Uh, your name, your name, the anime film came out this week, actually last weekend over in America. Um, no, two week, uh, Two weeks ago, I'm, I'm all confused. Your name has been in U.S. theaters for two weeks. How about that? That will work. And it's made three and a, uh, $3.4 million, almost $3.5 million in U.S. theaters, which is very, very good news that it is doing that well. Anime films very rarely make any, movie, uh, any money at all over in America. So good to see. Very glad to see that that is a thing that is happening. Um, and, uh, now Brent can't control any of the things. That's wonderful. Well, well done, Brent. Well done. Thank you. Uh, one moment while we try to resolve all of these things, because nothing is working now, because Brent is an idiot. Uh, one moment, please. Brent. One second. Hmm. Let's see here. Um... Ah, there we are. Um, so the Toho Company, which basically makes films, they have posted their largest profit ever for the last fiscal year, which ended uh, just the last, uh, just in February, I believe, of past year. Largest profits ever, and they said that is for two main reasons. One is Shin Godzilla, the new Godzilla film, uh, helmed by Hideaki Anno, and, again, your name. Both of them did so incredibly well that Toho had an incredibly good year. So, again, good news, good thing for everyone. Glad to hear it. Meanwhile, the new Pokemon Sun and Moon anime series will be coming out uh, on May tw 12th blah, in, on Disney XD in America. So those of you in America can see the new Pokemon Sun and Moon anime series if you haven't already torrented it. On May 12th beginning, they will air two episodes and then go towards continuing release of that. And I believe we have a clip that we can show, so let's try that. <laughs> So, yes, that looks quite, quite charming. Moving on to a surprise announcement this week, that a new Megazone 2-3 anime production is in the works. Some of the creators are looking to create a new Megazone 2-3 anime series. Uh, well, we don't know if it's going to be an anime series, but some anime production, and they will be going to crowdfunding to look for the money to produce a short film that will then be used to approach larger backers. So this is interesting partly because Megazone 2-3 came out in the 80s, I believe, and but also because of this crowdfunding aspect and the idea of crowdfunding, not the anime itself because of the huge expense of that. It would require millions and millions of dollars, but of crowdfunding essentially a short film showing what it would be, which is quite, quite interesting. So hopefully that works out. We will see. Um, I don't quite expect, well, I don't know. This is hard to tell how something like this will turn out, but, you know, good luck to them. So that's all the news, and uh, thank you all for joining us, and um, I'm going to go and beat Brent upside the head. <laughs>